Rainiator presents 16 signs you can't trust the guy you're dating. Some men can be trusted, some can't. That's just the nature of dating life. But you don't have to learn the hard way and end up getting hurt. The signs revealed in this video can be clear as day, but they can also be subtle, so you need to pay attention. If your guy is guilty of one of these signs, it might be a mistake. But if they add up to more than two or three, you probably have a situation on your hands and need to make a decision. Mistakes do happen and you should obviously give him a chance to explain himself before you jump to conclusions. But more often than not, if you see these nasty little oddities, you'll probably be better off with someone else. Number 1. He's not there for you Loyalty is an important part of measuring trust. When you need the guy the most, he should have your back. It really doesn't matter what it is changing a light bulb or supporting you when a family member has passed, you should be able to count on him to be there for you. So if you see a pattern of avoidance, if he's always too busy to help you out, coming up with all kinds of excuses as to why he can't be there, then you might want to consider cutting him loose. Number 2. Vague Explanations Telling you the truth should be pretty easy and straightforward, especially if the guy hasn't done anything wrong. So if he cancels your date or doesn't show up at a party as promised and is fumbling for words or is suspiciously vague, then he's got something to hide. If this happens once or twice, you should give him the benefit of the doubt. But if there's a pattern, then you have good reason to distrust him. Number 3. You don't know his friends Of course, you don't have to be best buddies with his group of bros, but if they barely know who you are, then see it as a warning sign. Let's say, for example, you meet his friends and they get your name wrong or don't remember it at all. This can mean two things. Either your man doesn't mention you very often, or he's dating so many girls, his friends can barely keep track of who's who. Either way, you probably shouldn't trust him. Number 4. Suspicious Phone Calls and Texts Does he frequently get up and leave the room when he gets phone calls? Does he walk off and turn his back to you when replying to text messages? Of course, we do these things to be polite to groups of people, but if you're in a relationship with a guy, he should be able to answer his phone in front of you. What you also want to look for is if he's careful not to leave his phone alone with you. That is suspicious behavior. Number 5. Busy at odd hours Work is one thing. We get caught up in meetings and projects, but if your guy is busy after hours and on weekends and goes MIA for hours on end, then something's up. Here's a law enforcement trick that can be useful. When law enforcement questions suspects, they're looking for four specific indicators that a person is deceptive. Number one, they're being vague, offering few details. Number two, they repeat questions before answering them. Number three, they speak in sentence fragments. And number four, they fail to provide specific details when a story is challenged. I'm not saying treat your man like a criminal suspect, but if you do decide to challenge him on what he's been up to, Keep these tips in the back of your mind. Number 6. Hangs out with other girls Do you see him talking to other women? Or perhaps hear rumors about him being out with other gals? If this coincides with him standing close, being all smiles and real friendly, maybe touching her, then it's likely you're dealing with a dirtbag. It doesn't matter if he comes up with something along the lines of, oh, but she's just a friend, or it's not what it looks like and it's not what you think. It's still pretty safe to say this guy is someone who can't be trusted. Number 7. Takes forever to get back to you If you're special to a man, he won't leave you hanging when it comes to phone calls and texts. He'll get back to you promptly, even if he happens to be busy at the moment. Any communication with you should be perceived as something exciting and not a chore. If it is a chore, you're simply not a priority in his life. This is bad news. Number 8. Spotty Information Let's say he lets you know he's going over to Johnny's house on Friday for poker night with his buddies. All is well, nothing out of the ordinary. But then, a week later, you hear rumors this was pretty far from being a poker night. It was actually a real party, with music and booze and girls. So, you confront him about this. Looking a bit sheepish, he pleads, Honey, I didn't want to worry you. I was just trying to protect you. Really? I don't think so. If he had nothing to hide, he would have come clean right away. He had no reason to be sneaky. This guy can't be trusted. Number 9. A Habit of Canceling Does your man have an annoying habit of constantly canceling on you? Whether it's going to the movies, having dinner together, or helping you pick out a new jacket for a ski trip, 
here he goes canceling on you again. If this is a pattern that's also followed by a string of lame excuses that barely sound believable, well, let's say it together. The guy can't be trusted. Number 10. He's given you a reason not to trust him. Maybe you caught him red-handed one time. Perhaps he lied about something or worse, cheated on you. Or maybe you learned that he cheated in an earlier relationship. The sad news is that people generally don't change. If they've cheated once, they'll likely cheat again, even if they're now in a different relationship. It's the same with people who lie. Once a liar, always a liar. Generally speaking, of course. Either way, you should think twice about committing to this man. Number 11. Doesn't have time for you anymore. In the beginning, he couldn't get enough of you. You saw each other all the time and things were beautiful. But now, dates happen less frequently. He's busy and unavailable, full of excuses. Unless you know for a fact that his job has changed radically and requires him to work longer hours, then you're probably looking at one of two things. He's either started to lose interest in you or he's met someone else, probably both. Number 12. Change in behaviors and habits. Once we get to know someone, it's pretty obvious what their habits are. People are fairly predictable and we see patterns. So when suddenly these patterns are broken and his behaviors and habits are shifting sideways, you can be sure something is going on. Women are particularly good at picking these things up and you should trust your female intuition. Number 13. Doesn't want you at his place. You know for a fact that he doesn't live with his parents, and you know his place isn't small, nasty, and in a neighborhood that's unsafe. Yet, he never invites you over, not even once. In the early stages of the relationship, you thought nothing of it. But you've now been dating for months, and the two of you keep meeting up at your place and in bars and cafes. This is bad news. This guy is either a player and has more than one girl in his life, or he's married with kids. Number 14 doesn't want to meet up on weekends. You've been dating for a while now, but you only see each other in the evenings and occasionally for lunch in town during the day, but never on weekends. He claims he's too busy. So what's going on? Should you trust him? Probably not a good idea. This is either a family man or a con man. If you hire a PI, you'll probably receive some shocking reports. Number 15. Words and actions don't match. There's a famous saying that goes like this, a gentleman makes commitments, a loser makes promises. If your man keeps telling you, I'm going to do this for you, we're going to these things together, babe, I promise I'll make it happen. Basically all the things that sound good, stuff you wanna hear, but then none of these promises are followed up with actions. What can I say? The guy is a loser, he can't be trusted. Number 16, you have a bad feeling. Let's say you've gone out on a few dates with a guy, He's charming, good-looking, and funny, yet you have this bad feeling about him. He's done nothing wrong and hasn't done anything to raise red flags, yet you can't shake the feeling that he would manipulate you over time, lead you down a dark path, and let you down. Should you trust him? Should you continue dating this man? Of course, you know yourself best, but the most common experience people have with these feelings, especially looking back over time, is that 9 out of 10 times, their gut feeling was right. These 16 signs we've covered can be hard pills to swallow, but you need to be brave and strong and think about your future. Shrug it off, hold your head high, and move on. There's a better man waiting for you out there. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And be sure to check out some of our other titles as well. Thanks for watching.